Um, James, uh, this uh, headline here confused you. Muslims offended. Well, yeah, I just, uh, I've never seen that happen before. But, uh, <laughs> but there was uh, apparently a whole incident in France there where Muslim pupils were offended by a Renaissance painting of a nude woman. Now, apparently, they're going to be disciplined by the French authorities, which is good. But, you know, it's always so funny to me with these things, guys, because we always hear these sorts of stories about, you know, Christian rubes, you know, total unsophisticated people being shocked by, you know, art and so on and so forth. But suddenly, oh, well, they're, they're Muslims, so it's all right, you know? What that is, is it yeah. What is it with Renaissance nudes? I mean, the Just for Oil people are always <laughs> yeah. spraying them and tearing always them down. Always targeting the good ones. Now yeah, they're, and, now yeah, they're always such great examples of body positivity. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how they're surviving in France, though. They're one of the most liberal countries when it comes to nudity. You go to a French beach and it's like, mate, that's far worse than any Renaissance <laughs> painting, let me tell you. Wouldn't no, Liz, wouldn't know. There you go. <laughs> um, Liz, Woke Canadian University, what's uh, been happening there? Oh, there's a story for you. So a law student slammed her Woke College because they refused to put up a menorah during Hanukkah, very special time of the year for the Jewish community, and then they removed all their Christmas trees anyway. So it's so you so you can't have the menorah, so you can't have the Christmas. So it, this is the war on so faith. Basically, isn't it? Well, it nobody is. yeah. of a, say Judeo-Christian background who is celebrating this time of year, no one gets to celebrate anything. Well, I could beat that though. I mean, I'm sure they will have a big sort of temple of Gre Greta Thunberg or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody yeah. to go with incense and... burning. No, no, not burning. You, that's a carbon emission, Liz. <laughs> okay, know, just a, a, can you we go have a, say ten hail Gretas? A no, life size no. wax figure. At Harvard, worship. though, at Harvard, you know, um, again, another issue. Um, Jewish group on, on campus, a student group, uh, they wanted to put up, as they have been doing for years and years and years and years and years, a menorah on campus. And now, of course, because it's the whole thing with Gaza, and they always say, oh, no, we're just anti-Zionist, and yet somehow it always winds up being really anti-Semitic. And now they've been told they have to take the menorah down every night by the authorities. Why? Because the authorities said, look, this will get vandalized, and it will make Harvard looked bad. Harvard looked bad. Harvard, Harvard looked bad couldn't enough. look any worse. Like, Harvard didn't make it look any worse. Bad yeah. news for you, Harvard. You can't. Yeah, you've got a long way to go to resurrect <laughs> you your uh, your reputation. An Irish teacher, Liz, has been indefinitely jailed for refusing to call a boy a girl. What sort of this world is, are we living in? This is just unbelievable, and yet believable in today's current climate. Yeah. So Enoch Burke. This unfolded quite some time ago. First, he was told you just can't come back onto the school grounds. And he insisted, because he's a man of faith, he's like, I simply will not do this. You can't. This is compelled speech. I'm not going to do it. Sure enough, he's still in the clinker and remains there. We don't we don't know when he's getting out. Well, this is the Ireland crazy is. thing. Ireland has Ireland is really fascinating to me for a couple of reasons. Number one, it seems to be one of these countries that's become the test thin edge of the wedge to see how far they can push people on these agendas. Because mm. really what is happening here across the West is this sort of silent civil war because it's not you know about guns and violence although sometimes yeah. there's compulsion like jail but when you can compel the other side to say the words say what they don't yeah. believe mm. that's when you're winning and that's what's going on here and this is a big sinister thing that people don't even aware that it's going on mm. we've also seen as what you were talking about liz down in melbourne we've seen uh, the city of stonington or stonington has refused to put christmas signs up they've just put make merry whatever that might mean, I'm sure, Make that people of, <laughs> people of that particular uh, area probably have their own ideas on what make merry means.